Hey everyone, John Chow here from johnchow.com and welcome to another marketing video. As you can see, I'm, I'm still standing up. Leg is, is still hurting, but slowly getting better. You just, just gotta will myself to keep doing this until, until, this, becomes, until this becomes natural. Anyway, I've been uh, checking some of your comments in these YouTube videos. Uh, I thank you very much for making these comments. I do read every single one of them. And I want to answer one of the questions that was highlighted in yesterday's comment. And that was, this person asked me, how do I make an ebook? Good question. And that's what I'm going to answer. See, the ebook is pretty much um, the foundation of my entire internet marketing plan. Generally, I offer, um, well, I like to sell by teaching. When you, teach some, when you teach somebody to do something, you build like, trust, and they're more likely to buy from you because you taught them something that they didn't know before. So the ebook uh, is, how I, is how I sell pretty much everything. Web posting, email list, everything. I, I teach them how to create a blog, uh, how to create this, and the tools I use, and I recommend the tools, and that, that's where you do it. So how do you create an ebook? Well, it used to be very, very difficult, but thanks to technology, it's a lot easier today. And I want to show you, uh, I guess, a, an example. And once again, I, I got my setup here. You know, I got the big, the big, nice Sony there, and I got my trusty Canon aiming at the screen that I'm going to be going back and forth to. So, to make an ebook, very, very simple. If you knew, if you know how to use Microsoft Word or any word processing software. You can create an ebook. So I'm going to create an ebook here using pages for the Mac, but Microsoft Word or Google Docs the same way. So uh, this is this is uh, right here. This is uh, pages for Mac. It's basically it's a word processor, and this is actually an assignment that that Sally 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 did. It's called Fun with Magnet Balls by Sally Chow, right? and uh, so she she got all these little magnetized balls and she's basically did a little essay or a little book, little essay yeah, on what you can do, what you can make with these little magnet balls. So you can see here, you know, a little basket and stuff and, you know, a little, a little bracelet for the pencil holder, etc. It, it's, it's quite cool and, and she's been working on this. So I figure I would use this example of turning this uh, fun with magnet balls into a, a fun with magnet ball ebook. How you do this? Well, you know, you just create, you write the ebook, you create it like so, you know, you want to, just like you, I said, if you know how to use a word processor, you can do this. So, you know, you just keep adding to, uh, adding, you know, this is, you know, you write it normally, this is fun stuff. I love doing, doing it. So, you know, you write, so you write your whole book. Let's assume you're finished now. How do you, Turn this into an ebook. Well, if you use a Microsoft Words, all you gotta do is export it, export this as a PDF file. So here's how you do that. So you go up here, uh, you go to you go to file, you go to export to, export to PDF, and this will bring up the uh, this will bring up the export screen. It tells you want to export the PDF, Microsoft Word file, plain text file. All these are the format, but we want to export the PDF. Uh, you can choose the quality, good, better, or best. Uh, let's go with middle, say better. Require password to open, obviously not. You don't, you want anyone to read it, so let's go next. And then it will ask you to where you want to save it. I'm going to save it to my, uh, I'm going to save it to the desktop here. And save it to the desktop, and we're going to call it Magnet Balls. Magnet Balls. And hit export. And Boom, that is it. So here is, let me move this out of the way here. Now here is the, the file that's been exported. So you double click it and take a look. And boom, there you go. So this is the finished PDF. So this is, yeah, this is a PDF. Three pages so far. But that's, that's basically it. Really, really simple. I said, uh, just use uh, any word processing program. Could be Google Docs, could be Microsoft Words. In my case, I have a Mac, so I use Pages for Mac, which comes free with the Mac. Uh, just type it up, 
you know, if you know how to use a word processor, just do it like you do. Do it like just like writing a book, and then when you're ready to make an ebook, export it as a PDF, and now you have your ebook. Now, next, the next thing is, how do I get this up on the internet so people can download it after they opt into your to your email list? Well, it used to be complicated. I used to uh, upload them to uh, Amazon S3 simple storage solution and then have to, when someone opts in, uh, then have to send them another page to show them the link to, it's, it's, it was complicated. But now, it's really, really simple if you have the right service. And in this case, this ad service is ClickFunnels. So, let's let's upload this uh, ebook into uh, onto the internet now. So let me put that aside. And we are gonna fire up ClickFunnels, which is a service I use. ClickFunnels, this is ClickFunnels. This is a service that I use to create all my landing pages. So under my ClickFunnels account, you see here, you got you know ClickFunnels, Action Linux, Backpack. It has uh, lots of features. But if you look at here, one of the features it has is called Digital Assets. Digital Asset, that's what you want. You click on that, and what a Digital Asset is, this is where you actually can upload and store your ebook. So in this case, I have no asset in this in this as account here. So I just go to upload, I just go new assets, and I choose the file. In this case, magnet balls. So it's gonna, and then I'm gonna call asset, I'm gonna call asset, uh, the asset name, I'm gonna call it fun, we'll call it fun with balls. Yeah, fun with balls, that sounds good. So, and this here is your message to the person who opted into your list. So you can say from uh, John Chow, and uh, my email address is uh, John Chow, John Chow com, and then a message. Here is the ebook that you that you requested. I hope you enjoy. Ta da! Like that, right? And then just click Add. And now what it's doing is it is now uploaded. It now uploaded this ebook onto ClickFunnels. So now all I got to do is just create a ClickFunnels landing page, an opt-in page saying, hey, download my newest ebook, have fun with magnet balls, enter your name and email below. When they do that, ClickFunnels will automatically send them a copy of the ebook and that is how you deliver the ebook. And now, so you got the landing page up, you got the ebook offer on display, opt-in that will link to your constant contact or your Aweber or whatever email provider you use. Once they enter that, that you got now you got the email address, ClickFunnels will automatically send them the ebook, and then you can begin your autoresponder sales funnel and your ebook can then recommend the product and have the link to all the stuff you're selling. And that that is it. So it's uh, pretty straightforward. As it, it used to be a lot more com complex, but uh, you know, thanks to thanks to like the technology here, it's a lot easier. Like, it, it is really, it is a lot easier to make money online today than when I started. Because when I started, none of this stuff was around. All right, so you guys have a big, big advantage. All right, so I hope this helps you out, and I'll have links to all these products, ClickFunnels down below. And oh, by the way, I am doing a webinar with Russell Brunson, uh, own, the founder of ClickFunnels. We're doing a webinar to show all the things that ClickFunnels can do. Uh, holding your digital asset is only one of them. There's a lot of stuff you can do with ClickFunnels. So uh, uh, if you haven't already done so, uh, click click the link and go sign up for the webinar. It will it will blow your mind. All right. Okay. So thank you very much. John Chow with .com. Give me a thumbs up if you like this, uh, if you like that. And again, I do welcome your feedback and your question because uh, I want to do more videos to help you guys. So the more questions you ask me, the better I can help you. All right. So uh, John Chow with John Chow .com. Thank you very much for watching. Give me a thumbs up. Like and share my video. Subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys on the next episode.